Hello there and welcome to another different kind of jaw dropping IEM video. This is my top 12 budget sets. All the sets you see around here are the ones who wish they were in the box <laughs> but couldn't quite make it. There's a few that could easily be Truthier Hola, for example, discontinued, a uh, little bit of problems with durability of the shell, stuff like that. Wonderful IEM, I wish they would like re-release it or something. Anyway, let's go into the top 12. Oh, and each of these sets you can see here were bought with my own money. So all thoughts and opinions are my own. First, we have the Kinera Celeste Wyvern. It's with a Zins cable. Pretty, really well fitting with the, with the IEM, this cable. Ear tips are, of course, as usual, Tangsu Sanjai balanced. Uh, and the medium size is uh, green, which happens to also fit the <laughs> IEM really well. Comes together aesthetically. Um, I do like this set. I think it's among the best $20, 20 US, US dollar sets. Um, overall balanced sound. I just, it's, it deserves this place because it works with so many things. It's just a relaxing joy to listen to. Here's the Simgut uh, EW100P. This is a almost a forgotten set. Not enough people talk about this set because, um, sure, it might not be the most comfortable. The shell is kind of small and it's kind of weird. Uh, Duno SNS ear tips I like to use with this one. Uh, but yeah, it's still really good for the price. Uh, the cable is, I believe this might be uh, Tribovin Amber? Zoni? Not really sure. Something like that. Uh, or maybe it's not. Uh, anyway, could be a Zins cable. They're sometimes very similar. Next up we have the Zigat Nuo. You might have seen my video of my top ultra budget sets. The Zero Two was the better one. Zigat Nuo was the was the second one. Kind of shared place. Uh, I kind of think of these four IEMs as my ultra budget stuff. Uh, this is a Zins cable. Again, Duno SNS ear tips. Pretty good stuff. Uh, for 20, 25 US dollars, these four are pretty amazing. Speaking of these four, the last one of these four cheaper ones is the Zero Two. Uh, 7 hertz zero 02 the Crinical collab. Uh, again, Tangzu Sanjai balanced ear tips. Uh, it's a Kinera Ace. I think this is the Ace, the original Ace cable. Really pretty. Fits the the colors fit it really well. Again, I'm an I'm an aesthetic guy, <laughs> so. I like the visuals, I like to match my uh, IEMs with, uh, with the cables. Next up we have the Moondrop LAN. Uh, this is the Chimera Ace 2.0 cable. Again, Tangsu Sanjai balanced ear tips. Um, Sound-wise, uh, balanced works with almost everything. Same here, a bit more clearer. Uh, so a bit more better with the uh, vocals, vocal forward. Uh, Nuo, mm, slightly more bass, slightly more V-shaped, fun set. Uh, has some treble sparkle with it. Uh, Zero Two is more akin to the... It's, it's sort of going to a fun direction here with these sets. So Zero Two being uh, very musical compared to the others, or slightly more musical than the Nuo. Uh, but overall, great performance. More bass. The LAN, however, is more vocal-focused, I would say. Uh, it has nice upper mids, nice uh, treble. Just, uh, sure, a balanced set and, and an, an overall nice performer. But yes, it deserves its place because I really like the build 
and I really prefer the tonality to my ears. It's uh, a step above the rest. Uh, speaking of tonality, uh, Hertz audio or Hertz sound, yeah, again I said Hertz audio, Hertz sound, um, Heart Mirror Zero. This one, uh, first of all, I really like the build and I rank it high because it has great technicalities for the price and it, it's around 40 US dollars or something like that and it's, it's uh, yeah, uh, this is a Tripovin Zoni cable. And these are, I believe, yes, they are uh, SpinFit W1 ear tips. Finally, something <laughs> different than <laughs> SNS and Sanjay. Anyway, lovely set. Uh, the bass is very lean, so people who are looking for fun um, dance music stuff or, or energetic pop music, whatever, the bass is lean. It's still good, nice quality, but there's not much of it, so uh, I would listen to I, I would I used the, the set for uh, gaming actually one of the things is I really like to do gaming on this with games that have more uh, upper sound content in their sound cues but for music I enjoy some jazz and so on uh, next up we have the uh, through the air uh, zero red and uh, this is a Zins cable, a really kind of weird looking Zins cable, but it, it kind of fits with the fits with the, the zero red. Uh, yeah, uh, nobody needs to be told what, how the zero red sounds. It's a, it's a neutral kind of staple of this price range, but for me, it doesn't hit my preferences as as well as, as it could be. Uh, it might be a slightly too much Harman tuned, so the mid uh, slight dip isn't isn't my thing. Uh, but the the TRI Clarion ear tips are really good for it. I they help it a lot, and yeah, it it still sounds good. It's it's for a reason. It's in this box in this uh, top twelve. Uh, next is the Galileo. So this being a budget uh, box. It's kind of cheating. The Galileo MSRP is like um, 110 or 100 US dollars, something like that. But it's been on sale uh, because it's being discontinued. So uh, you can find it for like 70 dollars or something. So I would still kind of consider it to be budget. So that's why it's here. This is a lovely Zins cable. Really lovely blue and gold. Uh, Duno SNS on it. And yeah. I got really lucky with the Galileo faceplates, as they are random. The Galileo mm, could be higher up, but the thing is that for my preference, it's a little bit dark. Uh, there's, I want more energy in the treble. So for a lot of my music, the Galileo doesn't really play the drum cymbals and, and such uh, instruments as I would like. But yes, it's still a nice, let your... Um, Collab with Giz Audio, Timmy from Giz Audio. So, yes. And it's a lovely looking set and a collector's item. Otherwise, it's really nice tonality. So, I still like it. But some of the other sets, like the Rhapsody, CCA Rhapsody, uh, this set is uh, among my favorites for the, for the price because of the overall performance. Um, I'm using the Tangsu Sanchai whiteboard actually on this one currently. Uh, sure, tuning switches you can play around, but mostly uh, I think yes, I, I have all the switches off. I prefer actually the stock stock uh, default tuning a lot of the time. Uh, really great bass, uh, two DDs and four BAs, which is a lot of drivers for the price. Uh, the cable is Kinera Lading. And yeah, that's a, that's a good one for a lot of music, for a lot of metal music and rock music and so on, which I like to listen to on it. Uh, next up we have the TRN Conch. Uh, I used, um, I think it's gold or red, uh, whatever was the, the nozzles, it has changeable nozzles. Um, Duno SNS ear tips, uh, it's a triple in 
Zony cable again. Good cables, affordable uh, upgrade cables, really soft, really nice. Uh, yeah, the the conch is just a technical marvel. I I, I really like how it uh, how it performs, like with the vocals, with with a lot of the the upper mids and treble. Uh, it has even on the the softest uh, red nozzles. I still find it to perform really well with most of my music. It's a lot of lower vocals that I listen to this on, but yeah, it's a keeper. The reason why it's below the second one, which is the, which is the top two, uh, the Simgat EW200, the reason why the conch isn't uh, above this, even though in my review video I put the conch above, is that my, my preference uh, the EW200 hits my preference better. That's it. It's that simple. I love them both pretty much equally, but but my preference is just that uh, for my library of music, uh, the Simgat takes the cake. Um, Spinfit W1 ear tips. Uh, this is another Zins cable. And yes, lovely set. Um, it just works with so much music and. Same, similar story, uh, sound-wise as the as the conch. Technicalities are are great on both of them for the price. And finally, my top one, uh, top most uh, budget set, seven hertz, Sonus. I think the Sonus doesn't get enough praise. Again, I'm totally biased because the Sonus is one of those sets that hits my preference so well. It does it even better than the EW200. The Sonos, um, yeah. It also looks really nice. I like the machining on the faceplate. Uh, by the way, uh, the YouTuber or reviewer Super Chunk has made a, uh, a video from the 7 Hz factory where they manufacture this uh, IEM, the Sonos. So I'll link it in the description. It's a cool, cool video. And you should check out uh, Super Chunk's channel anyway. It's a good channel. Uh, the cable is actually from Simgot. This is the um, this is the e E8 1000 cable, stock cable. But I really like how it looks and I like how it feels, and I think it fits the Sonos really well. Uh, Ear tips, uh, Duno SNS again. But yeah, Sonos is just yeah, it is similar in tuning as the EW200 or somewhere in between these um, the Zero Red and the 200 and something like that but but there's some characteristics in the in the in the frequency response and 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 how it plays sounds just i don't know hits still hits the right places for me for uh, a lot of my main library which is uh, rock and metal music and some pop but yes here we are this has been my top budget sets this has been java with java audio thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye